I know what you're thinking. This is not an F-class setup. Well, you're right. I'm actually doing something new. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, and I'm going to start shooting NRL 22 and Benchrest 22. How am I going to do that? Well, this is the first of a couple guns that I've bought. Uh, this was a used CZ457 MTR. Uh, a gentleman, actually one of the YouTube viewers who saw me looking for some stuff on one of the forums, wrote me, said, hey, I just picked up a Voodoo. I don't need the uh, CZ anymore. Uh, love what you do. Love your videos. Happy to make you a deal on it. So uh, he made me a very fair price on it, and it showed up on a week, uh, week and a half ago. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. So how did I buy it, and what have I done? Well, uh, the gentleman, because he was obviously going to keep shooting uh, with his Voodoo, he kept the scope, the rings, his bipod setup, uh, some other couple things. So I got the MPA chassis uh, with the MPA 30-minute rail on it. And then I also got, uh, he had an extended bolt knob here uh, for the bolt. And he also had a single shot sled. And then this nice little Pelican case that holds 200 rounds plus uh, three 10 round magazines and a 13 round magazine. Uh, so I was pretty happy about that. It felt like I was getting a lot of the stuff that I would need to get up and running without having to order individual parts. And the guy was super nice and uh, great to talk with and deal with. And then I went ahead, I had an inexpensive, which I'm gonna get into in a second, but I had an inexpensive bipod sitting around. I do need to get a better bipod, you know, to be fair. Uh, but I'm gonna explain a kind of a funny problem I had with that. And then I had a 7 to 35 Mark V that was just sitting around um, in a drawer. I wasn't using it. So I traded it out uh, for a 5 to 25 Mark V with the front focal plane. And uh, I think it's the PR1 reticle. It's like a center dot crosshair reticle, you know, standard subtension, stuff like that. Uh, I love the Mark V scopes. I always have. Just the 7 to 35 hasn't been enough to use for F class for what I want. But man, I'll tell you what, for doing this kind of stuff, I love this Mark V. So I got, uh, obviously, I had the 35 millimeter rings to go with it. So I threw that on. I've got that all uh, set up and sighted in. And when it came to the bipod, here's, here's what's funny. You kind of get used to shooting something like I shoot F class and that's pretty much all I've done. Like to be honest, I haven't shot a 22 in probably six years, five, five years, six years, something like that. Um, I've shot my nine mil once in the, uh, five years, maybe twice. I don't know. Um, and then, uh, I've shot, you know, some trap and skeet maybe three times, but really F class is all I do. So that's all I'm handling. Well, it's, it's funny cause I had this go or this bipod sitting around Right, so just inexpensive pick rail, nothing crazy. And when I got this from the gentleman, this piece right here was flipped upside down, so the Arca rail was facing down, and the rest of the MPA is all Arca here. So I had nothing but Arca, and couldn't find any way to attach any kind of Arca clamp or pick rail uh, to the bottom of this. And I don't know, I probably fiddled with it for a couple days, tried to make an Arca clamp attachment, but nothing would line up right with this. Uh, didn't want to order. I know they make, uh, in fact, the guy who makes the um, uh, the the uh, auto the, the trickler for the auto trickler setup that I just reviewed. He makes a really cool Arca to pick rail attachment. But you know, I just didn't have time to order it before my match in a couple days. So I was sitting there thinking, like, well, what am I gonna do? So I sent a picture to my buddy who who shoots a bunch of this kind of stuff, and I said, I, "Look, I'm I'm kind of stumped, and I'm I'm pressed for time. How can I get? Because uh, I had a little piece of pick rail, and I was trying to figure mounts, and there's no M lock on this thing. Anyway, he looks at this and he goes, "You know that flips upside down, right?" And I went, "Oh my gosh!" So these two screws obviously hold this little piece. I took these out, pulled it out, flipped it over, threw it back in, anchored them back down, and now I've got a pick rail from the front. So, um, you know, sometimes you just kind of, you know, can't see the snake in front of you. So, um, so I did that. Now, for, for bench rest and practice, and you've probably seen, uh, you know, like I've already used it in a video with, uh, what is it, with my, with my new um, Andy Scan chron um, chronograph. And in order to shoot off my regular rest, I went ahead and made a front bag rider. And let me find my front rest here, and I'll show you. So here's, here's my Rodzilla, 
And what I, I've got a, a three axis CNC uh, for doing wood cutting, but it also does Delrin and stuff. It's for my wife's business. And, and I went ahead and put a chunk of Delrin on there. I measured the exact dimensions of my F-Class gun. I measured the rail widths and I just mimicked that and cut a perfect bag rider that now fits right on the Arca. So I can throw that right on here and cinch it down and then it will um, just perfectly ride right on here. And so now I've got a perfect bag rider and I can shoot bench rest with it. I realize it's not, you know, a 2500 or a single shot voodoo or something, but for my purposes right now, it's going to do great for shooting bench rest 22 and especially for just playing around and stuff, being able to use my same front rest and I, my rear bag fits perfectly um, back here on the bag rider side. So everything sits really, really nicely uh, with the bag rider here. I've taped it off just like I would on my normal uh, F-Class gun. And it's just been a dream to shoot. Obviously the 22 is not gonna really free recoil or anything, but it's still nice to have it set up uh, the same way. And because I have the widths exactly the same, I'm not having to adjust anything on my T-Rex, which again, just makes life nice. So uh, I am getting uh, slowly used to, you know, how to throw things on the Arca, kind of the, um, you know, the expandability of what I can do. Um, let me see, what else did I do for this? So I've got this all set up and it's, it's ready to shoot for uh, our match in two days. So I am definitely looking forward to that. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've been in contact with the match director um, and probably three, at least three of the guys that shoot my, my matches shoot this match as well uh, on a regular basis. And there's, like I said, five or six that normally shoot it at some point. So I am looking forward to that because it'll be fun to be out there with some of the same guys, but doing something totally different. Uh, luckily, I just had a, an inexpensive case sitting around and, and it fits everything perfect. I can put my bag rider and my bolt and all that stuff in there. So I've been really happy with that. Uh, the, the thing that's gonna be a, a big learning curve for me is obviously all the accessories. Uh, luckily, I, I had a few things. Um, you know, this is just an inexpensive bag uh, that should work fine for now. Um, you know, if I super get into this, you know, yeah, I could end up probably getting a game changer or something like that. Uh, but, uh, you know, this fortune cookie design should work fine for what I want to do right now. Uh, there's a gentleman that reached out to me who's going to be sending me, he makes custom 22 boxes. So I'll be doing a review of those pretty soon. And then of course, getting through all the testing, I've got a whole bunch of ammo in route. Uh, right now I've only tested the Midas plus SK long range and SK rifle match. And it, it wasn't even great testing. You know, many of you saw it. It was, you know, six rounds of each. I just wanted, it was more for testing the chronograph than the gun itself, but I just kind of wanted to see what the gun would do. Uh, none of it was really great testing uh, or, you know, anything that I would put any money behind. But uh, like I said, I've got a bunch more ammo coming and I'll be doing a bunch more testing. It'll be nice to kind of narrow down what this gun likes. I also need to get the, because uh, the MTR doesn't come threaded. So I need to take it down to my gunsmith, have him put a half 30, what is it? I can't remember what the thread is, but anyway, half by 28 uh, on it. And then I'm gonna throw my Cortina adapter on there and then use my Cortina uh, tuners on there. So that'll be nice and easy and something I'm used to. And then I also have another gun coming. So someone else reached out to me and said, hey, I've got a Bergara B14. Uh, are you interested in that? And I said, well, sure. Uh, why not? It would make for good TV. So uh, that'll be here next week. And that thing came is going to be coming with the standard uh, Bergara B14R stock on it. So it's that gray, you know, adjustable stock. It's got a uh, Vortex Viper uh, long range scope on it. Uh, I don't know, three or four magazines. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but that one should be a lot of fun too. I know that one comes threaded already. So I'll be able to throw the tuner right on that. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to play around with them. I, I realize there's tons of videos out there already comparing the, the CZs and the, the Bergaras. But, you know, this is new to me. 
uh, might give a different perspective. And, and I know a lot of you just like watching me, you know, screw up or have fun or, you know, learn things too. So um, I'll be getting out there with that. But that's just sort of a quick uh, where I'm at with something different right now. Don't worry, I'm not giving up F class. In fact, I just finished loading 65 rounds for my Saturday match tomorrow. So I'll be shooting uh, an F class match Saturday, tomorrow, and then the NRL 22 on Sunday. So I've got a busy weekend. But uh, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. I'll definitely keep you guys updated with all my 22 stuff as well. And uh, maybe it'll give you guys a little bit of a break from the F-Class stuff uh, that might find entertaining. So have a good one. We'll talk later.